Well, after spending much of November with very little in the, uh, in the way of sunshine and bitter cold temperatures, you know, it's been pretty nice to see the sun the last couple of days, and temperatures haven't been too bad after some 20s today. We have dipped down into the teens, and that's in large part thanks to clear skies and fairly quiet winds, although those winds from time to time starting to pick up, and well, those act to stir up the atmosphere and slow how fast we cool. So we've had a roller coaster of temperatures down in the lower teens, back up to the mid-teens here in the FM area over the last few hours. But we do have some areas cooling down into the single digits, including Grand Forks, Thief River Falls, Pemidji, Langdon. You're also in that same boat. 10 degrees right now for you in Wapiton, Breckenridge, and crystal clear skies across North Dakota and western Minnesota. We do see some clouds in the Great Lakes. Those are causing some showers downwind. And we have some rain changing over to snow as we go north or into the cold pool of air in portions of Oklahoma and the panhandle of Texas while there's heavy rain in Houston. For us, very quiet weather as we close out the work week tonight and that will last overnight and into the morning. I think our temperatures will kind of lollipop around up and down and as we go through the mid morning hours we'll be in the single digits in most locations but the wind chills below zero. So bundle up if you're tailgating here or heading outdoors anywhere across the valley. Going through the midday hours, temperatures begin their rise, and we'll see a few 20s out there in the early afternoon and a few teens up north. The wind will be from the south at around 5 to 15 miles per hour in the early half of the day. In the afternoon, that picks up just a little bit, particularly down south. We could have a few areas seeing gusts around 20 miles per hour. A lot of 20s in the south and in western North Dakota, some teens in the Devil's Lake Basin. And heading into the evening, thanks to some clouds spreading over our southern counties, we won't cool off as fast. So your hour-by-hour hour forecast showing temperatures in the single digits early. South winds bring the warmth. We'll have some sunshine as well. But increasing clouds late will kind of level those temperatures off in the 20s for the late afternoon and early evening hours. 20s uh, for the Lakes Country area. We'll see Sisseton at 22 degrees. Langdon a little cooler for you and Devil's Lake in the mid-teens for most of you. And 21 in the Detroit Lakes area. Here's a great shot from western North Dakota. Not a lot of snow on the ground here, but Steve capturing a great western Dakota morning indeed. And we'll have a great morning on Sunday. Not as cold because of those clouds that move in late on Saturday. We'll start out in the teens and have a good shot at seeing that 30 degree mark here in the FM area. Then as we head into the uh, work week, wow, our temperatures will be right at that uh, melting point as we go through our afternoons. We could get rid of a little bit of snow here and there. We've removed the snow chances for midweek. That system looks like uh, less of a big deal as we go through the latter portion of the week, temperatures hold and the quiet weather does continue. So we're expecting very quiet conditions over the next seven days. That gets us well into the middle of the month and well, some long range models showing that uh, pretty quiet through the remainder of the month as well. So that might be good news for travelers. But if you're hoping for a white Christmas, uh, it's not looking the best. Stay tuned, in other words. Yes. Yeah. It's Thanks. white enough for me. Yeah, I'm okay with it. Brownish, whitish. Yeah, 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 that's okay. If you've got